Charlie Hebdo, two people stabbed for republication of Muhammad cartoons in Paris, France. Two people have been stabbed or slashed with a meat cleaver and seriously hurt in Paris near the former offices of the satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo. The French government condemned the stabbing in front of the former office as an act of Islamic terrorism. Ali Hassan, a.k.a. Zahir Hassan uh, Mahmoud, is accused of stabbing the two people who he suspected of working with the magazine. Back in Pakistan, the attacker's father appealed to the government of Imran Khan and other Islamic countries to help him bring his son home. Quote, I want to appeal to the Pakistani government to bring my son home. He has served the case of Islam and we are a Muslim country, he told a Pakistani channel. Yeah, so, and this happened very close to Blasphemy Day, right? Yes, this happened, um, like, a, I think a day or two before we did last week's news, which was too uh, soon for me to put it in last week's um, episode. Um, but yeah, it's it's really unfortunate. So he stabbed two people at the former offices of Charlie Hebdo. These are people who don't even work for the company. The company isn't even based there anymore, but he just went to their former office because he assumed that that's where they were. And then he stabbed two completely innocent people um, because he assumed that they were working for Abdo. And yeah. Hmm. So this was a lone wolf kind of situation? Mm hmm yeah, and I heard that his father, in addition to asking for extradition, you know, getting him back to Pakistan, had also ex expressed some, like, pride in yes. his son's actions. And, wow. Uh, you know, how, he, you know, he, like you said, he served the cause of Islam, but his father, you know, had said something about it. He was very proud of his son and things like that. So it's really I mean, sad. The, so the father, even, like, even, I mean, this is kind of weird even from, from, an Islamic standard, because even if you think you, ha oh yeah, good job, keeping the on defending the honor of Muhammad. I mean, wouldn't they think like you stabbed the wrong people, like son, like you're morons, my like son, like. W I mean, would they not even think like? Would they not consider the fact that they just stabbed some innocent people that had nothing to do with it in their minds? In you know, because not guilty, because technically nobody's guilty for drawing Muhammad, mm -hmm. but. Like, would they not think, like, okay, I mean, these are not just, I mean, let's be fair to Muslims and other religious people. Mm -hmm. Most people are not, most religious people are not this dumb. Not, you know, not even, not even most Muslims are this dumb. Like, this is, like, really, even most violent members of that, you know, community, even the, even the radical ones. Even the radical ones that want to harm people for drawing Muhammad are not this dumb. You know, it could be, though, that, you know, okay, so we got the wrong people, but they're, you know, they're Kufar, they're French, they're, you know, Westerners. You know, it could also be a way of um, justifying the mistake and saying, well, it doesn't matter anyways because, you know, they're Kufar, so who cares? You know, I, I struck a blow for Islam regardless of whether it was the ebdo people or not or you, you know what i mean like it almost sounds like that's you know sort of a face it could even be a face saving thing or you know because people do blow up random people all the time you know right and yeah and allah cares about the intentions i guess more than the, the result so yeah. so maybe that's another thing uh, yeah in an interview with the online channel naya pakistan the father whose name is withheld, said his son had, quote, done a great job and was very happy with the attack. What the hell? Yeah. He, said that his, his, uh, he says that he was a good son who prayed regularly and did pilgrimages twice a year. Apparently, um, this uh, the attacker left for France, left Pakistan for France two years ago. So he's been in France for about two years. Of his five sons, three are abroad, two are in France, and one in Italy. My heart has the son of a lion, he told his interviewer. Hmm. So yeah, well, he's taking up he's taking up the cause. He's defending he's defending their prophet. I mean, um during a lot of the recent um 
mass anti-Shia protests that have been going on in Pakistan. I was watching some of the um, interviews and there, there are people who talk about, they're like, yeah, I'm going to go to France and I'm going to do this. Hmm. Like openly. Right. By the way, let's also be uh, uh, honest with everybody about all of this. As much as we criticize every religion, there is no religion that is responsible for more crap like this than Islam. Mm -hmm. There's no religion that is more responsible for more crap like this than Islam. And any not like other religions do not even come any close. Like the second runner up is like is lo is, is lower in the th uh, is the, in the threat that they cause by a huge margin. By a huge margin. Mm -hmm. Right. And I'm not talking. And I know if, if anybody is like trying to remember the latest uh, Terry and we're not going to say the real world because YouTube doesn't like it, uh, you know, attacks in Western countries. And mm -hmm. like, oh, like is it's because they have like they're looking at it, everything from a Western perspective. They don't understand that this stuff is continuing to happen uh, in Syria, in Lebanon, um, in Yemen. In mm -hmm. Afghanistan, oh my God! In Afghanistan, it's continuing to happen. Like this stuff is still happening, and even though even there they are less than before, they're still happening a lot. And Islam is responsible for the vast majority of it. Globally, Islam is responsible for this kind of stuff by a huge margin compared to not just and not just um, compared to other religious form of other ideologies. Period. Other ideologies. Period. Go I look up the wanna... statistics. I have gone yeah. and done the research because that's a big claim to make. Yeah. Go look up the data of global Terry activities. Mm. Okay. Even um, Western far right Terry activities do not even come close. Yeah. If you look at it from a global perspective, yes. It will, it will be different. About. There are global yeah. databases, they're not hard to right. find. And you know what? Also, with regard to the Terry's, a lot of them have actually learned some techniques in this because it's so pervasive, has been so pervasive and so widespread that people have sort of taken some of their ideas and how they've been able to do some of these things. And now we see some other non-religious or other religious groups using some of the same methodology, the random stabbings, the drive intos, the, you know, those sort of things, which we didn't necessarily had seen before with other uh, political or religious Terry's. And then the other thing I was going to make a comment about is part of the reason I had, you know, suspect that some, some of this has abated has been the virus to a degree that people are literally stuck inside, can't travel, you know, can't cross borders. So, you know, this is one of the first, what a, we're, you know, starting to see maybe, you know, things are back to normal, unfortunately, or getting there more so. I don't know. What What yeah. do you mean? Like, by more increased incidences of stuff happening domestically? I'm, I'm saying you might, this might be like a, you know, sort of a sign, and I'm being, you know, um, yeah. dark humor here, like, oh, mm. they're, you know, oh. now that you, there's starting to, you know, stab people. You have to get close to people to do that. Maybe things that's meaning the virus is, you know, we're not, we're getting back to normal guys. You know, yeah. I, I was, it was a dark humor thing, but the truth mm -hmm. is there has been a reduction in some of the Western attacks and some of it may very well yeah. have been just no, because you people no, the leave. no, the reduction has been going down before this whole, Beer right. bug thing, beer bug thing happened. The beer yeah. bug thing, but I think that maybe that also may right. have something. By the way, we're not saying we're not mentioning the name of the virus because YouTube doesn't like that as well. So we're calling it the beer bug. Um, but anyways, um, I saw a comment and I didn't. Uh, yeah. Oh, you muted yourself, Rivka. No, here. And uh, this is one. Have you guys seen the interview of the father of the Pakistani guy who st uh, stabbed in France? Do you guys see the interview? Well, we read parts of it in English. Yeah, okay. I, I can't understand what he's actually saying. All right, but we need to move on to the... I believe 
Uh. Har Sultan provided an English translation mm. of the whole interview Ooh. on the channel. He may or may not. I, at least a segment of it. So go okay. check out Harris's Sultanate of Sin. <laughs> right. AJ saying we're seeing uh, that we're seeing that here in Melbourne uh, an increase in violence and domestic violence due to lockdown restrictions. Interesting. All right. So can the, is the next news uh, club worthy? Um, no. Eh. Yeah, man, I'm gonna do like a gentle clap. Okay, like next. News. Not very excited, but also it's not that dark for us. Not meh, yeah. <laughs> it's I not good it. news, but it's, it's not, not good news. But it's dying. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not tragic. Again, we actually it is kind of tragic. But anyways, news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has? What's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel. Why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're if you not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. So